Yo, Apex Bobby here, and today I'm going to be telling you five things you need before you start school. Let's get started. So, I know right now is the summertime, you just want to chill out, you don't want to worry about school and the whole situation right now, but it's good to have these five things in mind right before you start this new year. You may have classes, you may have it online, some hybrid, so no matter what, these five things are going to be very useful. Alright, so number one, let's start from the top. Get yourself a calendar or some type of academic planner. You're going to be so busy with your classes, tests, quizzes, homework assignments. If you have those science classes, they might want you to have labs. So to be able to plan everything down, day and time, when your next quizzes are about to come, highly recommend getting yourself a calendar that you can have at home, mark it up with any dates and times that your syllabus provides, or have yourself a agenda planner and you just plan all that. So highly recommend that y'all invest into that. Not too expensive, plus if you want to be a cheap person, you can buy the 2019 and that should carry you till 2020 December if you want to save some money on that, right? So uh, number two on that is actually get yourself some uh, gum, you know, some breath mints or gum. Highly recommend it, especially if the professor is very boring or you're falling asleep having one of these or chewing something like a piece of gum would really help you out. I would also say that chewing gum regardless is good because you know it makes you less sleepy and you know having that fresh breath could be useful but now that everything is online it's probably not going to be as useful but you know just highly recommend number two get you some Altoids or some gum you can uh, freshen up your breath right? So uh, number three on that is actually get yourself some pens. I highly recommend that y'all buy pens instead of pencils or mechanical pencils, at least for me, right? Because the difference between going to high school and college, especially if in college your professor doesn't give you handouts and you have to do everything by PowerPoint or you just listen to lecture, is the professor is going to be talking fast and you don't have time to write in pencil and then sharpen it up, write in pencil, and even mechanical pencils. If your professor be laying down some truth, right? You're like, wow, that's some truth right there. And your pencil breaks every time you use mechanical pencil. I highly recommend that y'all just get a pack of pens. I prefer blue pens actually more than black pens, but everyone's a bit different, a hybrid. Um, I did notice that one person who wrote in green pen and I'm like, why green pen? But highly recommend that y'all buy some pens, invest in that early, and yeah, so that's number three, buy some pens. Alright, number four, you know, I put these towards at the bottom because, you know, some people don't have access to it, but I highly recommend that y'all actually get some headphones, right? Headphones are perfect. Um, you plug that into your laptop or, you know, your phone, and when you're done with classes or when you're actually just off to the side, just trying to do something on your laptop, having those headphones in is very useful, especially if you're trying to listen to something or you're actually trying to do some other notes at the same time. So having headphones, even R&R, &R, is really good. And uh, I highly also recommend that y'all invest in buying yourself a charger, a portable charger that you can just fill up on the go and take to classes just in case if your battery goes down your portable charger with the USB cord or you know uh, some type of cord that you can plug in can really help out especially if you're down 20% and you can't go to the library to charge it or go back home so investing in a portable charger and getting some headphones is really gonna help you out at least in your undergrad career right all right, so number five, this is the last one on my list. Um, this is actually going to apply more for the pre-med and pre-dental, people who have to take science classes, right? When you're dealing with science classes, especially chemistries and biochemistry, you're going to be writing a lot. And sometimes you just want to work on practice problems. So I highly recommend that you all get yourself a whiteboard. You can just write down the problems, even math if you want to use math on that, and you can just write down the problem, erase it, write down another, erase it, it saves some trees, it saves some time, and I highly recommend, I wish I had this 
back in my early undergrad, but you know, it's what's done is done. So yeah, that's number five, and that's pretty much it. I didn't want to make this video too long, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments or want to put any tips for anyone who's about to start school, uh, especially college, or this can also apply for high school too, right? Just comment down below, give a like, a subscribe, and that's it. Apex out.